Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining my talk. I'm Dennis Marken. And today I'm going to talk about uh, iMac uh, uh, GAN power device technology, as well as the newly formed GAN IC technology, uh, to show you the, uh, how we can go beyond such uh, simple discrete component uh, to enable uh, IC technology made in GAN. Before I deep dive into the technical presentation, let me just give you a very short overview about iMac. So at iMac, we are based in Belgium and we are a world leading R&D technology, R&D center in nanoelectronics and digital technology. And what is part of our DNA is the fact that we deliver industrial relevant technology. So everything that we do must be used by the industry. And this is applied to the, to the research that we do as well as the development. And also, as I will show you, uh, is true for gallium nitride. At IMEC, basically, we have two fab. One is a 300 millimeter fab uh, dedicated to CMOS scaling. And the other one is a 200 millimeter pilot line, uh, is a 0.13 CMOS line, which is used for all the more than move technologies. This presentation, I show you basically two things. One thing is that IMEC 8 inch Gano silicon normally off or enhancement mode technology is ready. We have developed API up to 650 volt, Gano silicon AP up to 650 volt. And we have solved all the technological challenges linked to this technology, which was uh, uh, affecting this technology in the past, such as dynamic Iron, for instance. The other point that we show you that we are going already beyond this grid component, enabling monolithically integrated 200 volt and 650 volt Gan IC. And here I'm referring to a full GAN power IC monolithically integrated in one chip. So high side, low side transistor, everything into one chip. And we believe that this is, will really unlock the full potential of the GAN technology and realize unprecedented performance. At IMEC, we have been working on GAN for more than 20 years. We started around 2000 for on working on GAN. And we soon realized the need to develop a technology that is compatible with the, with the CMOS, so meaning that it can run in any CMOS line. So in 2009, we were first showing the possibility of using a six inch Gano silicon CMOS compatible technology. And around 2012, we show the possibility to put eight inch uh, Gano silicon wafer into the uh, CMOS line and also to realize power devices by using gold-free metallization and uh, all uh, metals compatible with uh, uh, CMOS technology. We then focus in realizing 8-inch Gano silicon EMO transistor for 200 volt application first in 2016. And one year after, we were able to enable 650 volt Gano silicon EMO transistor. In 2018, we enable a platform ranging up to 650 volts. And during those years, actually, we start preparing for the idea of realizing integrated circuit made on GAN. And, after, and thus, last year, we have launched the 8-inch GAN IC 200 volt PDK for realizing integrated circuit made on GAN for two, up to 200. And this year, we were very proud to launch the 650 volt uh, PDK GAN IC. The future direction, we will work toward extremely low on resistance, specific on resistance device in the 40 to 100 volt uh, range. We're gonna further work on the level of integration uh, to further enrich the GAN IC PDK with new component, new technology to enable even more compact and complex integrated circuit made on GAN. We're also working toward higher voltages beyond 650 volt, beyond 1200 volt toward the 2000 volt by looking both at epitaxy as well as at uh, the device architecture, which can be shift from lateral device toward vertical device, always on an 8 inch uh, substrate. As I mentioned to you at the beginning, at IMEC, we are at the service of the industry. So also on GAN, we have a wide offering to uh, address the need of the different player in the industry. 
we have an offer called Industrial Affiliation Program, which is, is offered normally to company that has a pretty solid GAM baseline. And we want to extend and empower the R&D teams. So basically, these company often they are very busy in the production of GAN today into day technology, and they don't have time to the risk to anticipate what will be the technology of tomorrow. And this is exactly what we do in the program. In the program, we look at uh, several technology in the future. Uh, for instance, vertical devices. We develop this. We de risk it. We see what works and what doesn't work. This also allowed this company to have an uh, early access to the future IP, so to create a more stronger IP position for the future. For companies that are uh, behind in terms of uh, GAN technology, and for instance, they have an 18-inch line that they want to utilize for producing GAN, we offer a technology license and transfer to slash their time to market. So basically, I will show you, we can transfer our EMO device technology to any 18-inch line in the world. Often the two offer are bundled together because once you install the GAN technology, you want also to stay up to date with the new technology that iMac is developing. For the fabless and fab light community, we also uh, we offer the possibility to design your own GAN um, your own GAN device uh, into the iMac PDK. So we offer a private lot or we also offer um, the possibility to design GAN IC uh, into IMET technology with a very cost-effective, attractive multi-project wafer offering. Often, some companies, they have a need to tune then the technology toward what they need, for instance, lowering the gate resistance or a particular voltage. And we can also do a dedicated development and tuning within a flexibility, let's say, that perhaps is not offered by standard foundry where you have a baseline. So at timing, we want really to serve what the, our partner wants. Let me show you now some uh, result on the 18-inch gun of silicon normally off device technology. So here you can see the performance of our epitaxy. Our epi is based on a iMac proprietary step super lattice structure. And basically what you can see here is the on the left hand side you can see the buffer thickness versus the forward vertical voltage of one microampere millimeter square. If you look in a leakage graph, basically this is the point I'm referring to. If you if you will bring this 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 epi to the hard breakdown, actually you would also go beyond 1100 volts. So basically on the buffer thickness, you can see that the thicker you go the buffer, the higher the voltage you can achieve. So we have two low voltage buffer for 200 and 100 volt application. And for the 650 volt application, we went through three generation. The first generation has a buffer of 5.4 micron. And then we have moved toward the, this horizontal line with the idea of keeping the performance but lowering the buffer thickness, which means a buffer which is more cost effective. So our latest step super lattice buffer show around 750 volt for 4.2 micron. In terms of device technology, as I mentioned to you, so as you might know, GAN de facto is a normally on device technology, but the power semiconductor market, they do demand normally off device. You have two ways to achieve this. One is a package solution where you cascode your normally on GAN device with a normally off silicon frame or you re-engineer your device technology moving from demo to our EMO. And this is what we believe is the way to go, which is also shared by several key players in the industry. What you can see here is a 200 volt platform, EMO device operation, which is uniform and reproducible, and it doesn't show uh, any dynamic error issue. So here you can see the transfer characteristic of the device that at VG0, there is no current. The threshold voltage is well distributed over the wafer, which is around three volt at the maximum of the transconductance. And you can see the dynamic around, which is one of the biggest challenge of GAN technology, is actually below 20% over the full temperature and voltage range. So up to 150 degrees C and up to under 200 volt. This is for the 200 volt technology. And what you can see here is the, the same, but for 650 volt. 
So this is a device for 650 volt uh, application. You can see that a VG0, there is no current. The threshold voltage is also well distributed over the wafer, around three volt. And uh, again, the dynamic uh, iron is less than 20%, up to 600 volt and up to 150 volt. So this is a technology that is reproducible, uniform, and we can transfer to any 18-inch line. This is an example of how we can transfer IMEC technology to your 18-inch line. And basically, we can uh, start with a classroom training where we uh, share with you all of our knowledge. Then we can have a training lot where we go through the, the lot module by module. We show you all the uh, know-how, all the technology, really module by module in a very, very uh, detailed. And meanwhile, uh, you can start installing the processing at your site. Afterwards, we provide support. And let's say that with a good commitment from your side, within one year, you will have uh, some first result, some first gamma silicon wafer coming out of your uh, line. We can then perform some cross-check to debug the processing and then provide you update. Of course, we need to define this transfer plan together with you based on what you need. But let's say this is how we can offer this to you. Okay, so so far I show you the discrete components, so which we have made on GAN. With which, basically, with the discrete component, you can enable power converter, which are more compact than what you can do with silicon. But yet they are made by discrete. So you can see here in this case, you have an alpha bridge, high side, low side, the driver, everything is on discrete size. And there is an evolution towards smaller size, more compact. So there is an, an example here, a system on package where you have a high side, low side transistor, the gate driver, everything into one package. But the way to go according to us is to look towards a system on chip. So to look at, um, uh, to put all these components into one chip. Unfortunately, you cannot realize this on Ganon Silicon. So if you will realize a GAN IC on Ganon Silicon, your devices are isolated only at the high, only at the surface, but not via the substrate. So basically, and basically it's like if you put in a circuit, these two devices are connected, virtually connected here via the substrate, which means that as soon as you apply a voltage, the VBS of your high side transistor become negative and therefore the threshold voltage start go, start go all over the place. For this reason, we move from Ganon Silicon to our uh, IME Gan IC solution, which feature a, um, a substrate with uh, an insulating layer, which can be SOI or QST technology. So basically you can see that in this case, we have trench isolation and we connect the substrate to the source side. So in this way, your VBS is always zero and the device is well isolated within his pocket. So we have basically re-engineered the EPI to be able to grow that on SOI or on QST. And we have uh, developed the module to realize substrate connection and trench isolation. You might believe me in what I said, but it's better to be backed by data. What you can see here is the performance, the output current of the high side transistor when apply a voltage over the time. So if you don't apply a voltage, of course, the output current remains stable. As soon as you apply 100 volt or 200 volt, you can see a pretty drop in the output current. And this is because the VBS of your device is less than zero. So there is a shift in the threshold voltage. Um, some people said, yeah, you can just, this is because you, you ground the substrate. Uh, actually, even if you leave it floating, the situation doesn't change. It does change if you use GAN IC technology, because then you connect the substrate to the source side. Your VBS is intrinsically zero, so there is no change whatsoever on the output. So now that we have this technology, we can actually we can actually make uh, advanced circuit with GAN. We can make power devices with integrated driver, that time control. We can have protection circuit over current temperature, comparator, inverter. So we can really enable very complex circuit, all in gun. This is an example of an alpha bridge that we realize on uh, IMEGAN IC technology. 
So we put all of this circuit into one chip. You can see that it's actually a pretty simple package because you don't need advanced packaging anymore with GAN IC because all the high frequency components, they are into one chip. So here you can see the alpha bridge switching at one megahertz with a very neat uh, uh, characteristic with which then we make a 48 to one volt power converter. So as I said, the GAN IC technology is accessible via multi-project wafer. So this is up to you to realize your own integrated circuit with GAN. And this brings me to the conclusion. So I hope I show you that the uh, IME GAN, GAN on silicon, 18-inch GAN on silicon, normally off technology is ready. We have solved all the issue and we can transfer this to you, to your 18-inch fab. We are also looking beyond discrete component, enabling monolithically integrated 200 volt and 650 volt GAN IC to really unlock the full potential of GAN technology. Next to this, we are also looking beyond this, looking toward vertical devices or other technology that will come up in the market for five to 10 years. Thank you very much for your attention.